After the Phoenix game, I told the team that you have to have a level of humility because it's the NBA, it's a long year, and those things can happen to you as well. And so uh, tonight we were on the other end of that. Nothing more, nothing less. General, they were testing Friday when they were doing, it was, it was like little trotters out there. It seemed like they were launching threes. Jalen Williams goes coast to coast for a dunk. Like, it was desire a, a problem? here, effort, like the Indiana game, it just seemed like you guys kind of gave up a little bit when they started hitting shot yeah. after shot. Yeah, we did. Yeah, they played harder than us the entire game. And so, like I referenced uh, the Phoenix game, you have to play with a sense of humility every night knowing that your opponent wants to beat you. And, you know, we have to match that, and we did it, and we got outplayed in every aspect of the game. What's wrong with the defense? Uh, well, we were top five until about an hour ago. But like tonight. Okay, <laughs> okay. yeah, throwing tonight. It's yeah, a great question. Yeah. Even in um, yeah, I mean, well, that's a fast team. Uh, they put us in rotations. Uh, they tested our individual defense, and we didn't guard the ball as well as we should have. What do you even say to the team after a game like that? I said the same thing I said after the Phoenix game. Whether you win or lose, it's a level of humility you have to have um, in the NBA because those things happen, and effort and getting outplayed is unacceptable. Was there something early that gave you the indication that this was going to be a long night? You called some quick timeouts. Um, now you're going to say I shouldn't have called them? No, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm confused. it's unlike you. But yeah. was there something that you saw six, seven minutes? Yeah, I mean, I saw a team. I saw that they were ready to play, and we weren't. And so, you know, we have to be ready to play, and I have to get our guys ready to play. What happened with Marcus? It looked like you were you were worried he was going to go after. Him. I wasn't worried he was going to go. I was just making sure that he did it. I wanted to protect him. That's all. Um, but you know, just a you know whatever the case, what happened between him and the referee, and you know, they made the call, and I just made sure I protected him to get him out of there. You know, we talked about before teams playing their best games against you guys. I mean, they were without a third, 30 point score and they scored 150. Yeah. I mean, can you prepare them any better for. Yeah, I can definitely. I can be better, yeah. I can be better and the guys have to be better. We all have to be better. And so, like I said, you can't overreact to a game like this, in my opinion. Um, if you have the understanding of you're going to be able to do that to another team, which we did earlier this year, you have to have the understanding that it could happen to you at some point. And so we have to handle it, and I'll care more about how we respond um, in the next game and in the future. And so, like, you know, I may have a distorted view of my mindset, but it's important to learn from these moments, and you have to use them to grow. You don't really have any other choice. You said that you guys are going to suck sometimes. Everybody sucks sometimes. Yes, I didn't mean that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you've also said that you want your team to play to the standard that you've set every game. Yeah. Um, how do you guys do a better job of, of getting to that level all the time and not just occasionally? Yeah, that's a great question. I think that's something that we have to learn. It's something that we have to grow through. I think it starts with um, effort, execution, and details. And so when we're dialed in in our effort, when we're locked in on the details of the game plan and the details of our identity and our schemes on both ends of the floor, um, and then execution happens, and then that's when we're at our best. And so I think it always comes down to that. It comes down to um, having the right mindset regardless of the result, knowing that it's not going to go your way all the time. But you can control the majority of it by focusing on those three things, and we didn't do those three things tonight. You warned against a pregame. Do you think there was some let up after they found out SGA wasn't playing? Maybe a little, but it shouldn't be that much. It shouldn't result in that. But, yeah, I would imagine there's always a let up when something like that happens, but not, it shouldn't be that much. Joey, last time I checked, late in the fourth, they scored 70 points in the paint. Um, do you guys have to start laying some wood, hard fat? Like, what do you guys have to do to prevent teams from just going at the rim and just having their way? Because it just seemed like... Yeah, I mean, I thought that too, and then they shot 20 for 40 from three too. So that was just... Oh. But is, this, is it just a matter of OB, the other guys shot really well? Like, that was kind of the... No, not tonight. No, no. No, they just outplay, they outplayed us. Every aspect of the game. Marcus told me before Denver he wanted to get off to a better, have a better road trip than the last West Coast swing. Is there like a vibe change or is there anything different we can feel for these last two? 
No, I mean, it's funny. We just won four in a row. And, you know, like I said, you got you to gotta just know the NBA is fragile. And so you got to constantly work at it. You got to do the, the, the same things over and over again. And it's just a test of your mindset. It's a test of your will. And it's a test of how you're able to handle success and adversity. And so you're going to have to constantly go through those things. Build a sandcastle. Yeah, I mean, yep, exactly. Was there any added level of concern? Or is it just one of those nights? Um, I would say both. I mean, I'm not concerned, but like, you know, we, we have to coach in the short term and for the long term as well. And so, you know, again, may not be the most popular thing to say, but you got to go through some shit if you want to get to where you want to get to, whether it's good or bad. And that's just how it is. And so um, we have to go through it and we'll be judged by how we handle it. And if we handle it the right way, then it'll be good for us. And if we don't, then, you know, that's something that we have to address. You know? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.